Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next part of the Colchester Creek Spiel with me Dave Pumphouse. We are now processing the quarter past two turn. Um, if you did watch the last video, things are hottening up over in the east. We'll have to roll for that this turn again. Uh, but first, let's, let's roll for these cannons that are hitting the walls. Both with bad effect. Oh dear. Snake eyes. Five and a two. Okay. These dragoons versus Colonel Bird. Let's roll it. Three and a two. Two won't do any damage with them on the walls, I, I wouldn't think. But the three would definitely hit them for at least a couple of couple of dudes. Let's roll for the cannons. So the, the effect for them. Bad effect again. And a three. Give them the same report as last time of hot shot balls landing kind of nearby and maybe setting fire to some hay or something. This smoke is probably now cleared. So they can probably see a bit better. These guys not in the greatest of shape has to be said they've they've lost another load of men uh, to those guys on the wall so they're very ineffective but as you can see Delbra and Barkstead have seen that Fairfax is in trouble and they're going as fast as they can down the road <laughs> to try and help him Barkster's left one unit, Barkster number three, just to watch the east gate there, just to see if anything's uh, going to happen. And Barkster didn't, I mean, I said to him, Barkster, you've got Colonel Whaley sitting over there. You can see him. He's just doing nothing. 300 cav. If I, if I, I'm going to put some kind of meme up there and say, look, send a message, quick, because Fairfax is sending a message to Coleman to try and get, a, you know, get over here and help, but it's not going to reach him in time. Nothing, nothing from Colonel Barkstead. The hint was there, sir, the hint was there, but Let's roll for the cavalry and, and see how this fight continues. Oh, oh dear! So they, these two. Oh, I mean, the the sh the fight on the right isn't so bad, but the the fight on the um, on the left is definitely gonna hit Major Delbra's cavalry for the worst. But they might have just hung on with those two ones. They might have just hung on. Uh, just enough, but but we have to roll for Fairfax. A five or a six, he's been killed because he's already got a slight wound. Hell, maybe even at five, we might say he's mortally wounded and uh, he, he's dying on the field, and he still might be able to command. But a six, he's killed outright. You dodged it there, Yan. That's that's four times we've had to roll to see if you've been killed. I should have rolled last turn, but I was I was kind. <laughs> All right, so that's that's it. That's 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 this turn. Um, I think I think from what uh, the the message that uh, Honeywood sent, it's it's over here somewhere. That's Gordon to, to Fairfax. That's Honeywood. That's his 145 message coming across the field there. He, he said he was going to attack within half an hour. So it's more than likely that we'll see the attack from the parliamentarians on the Balkan Gate. We'll see how that goes. If they win, it's game over. If they lose, it's game over. All right. 
But uh, this this is this is the last action over here for Fairfax. It's done well. They've done all well, to be honest. But I'm I'm just waiting, just waiting for CT <laughs> and his uh, compatriot uh, Colonel Gordon over here to to attack. Really. But we'll see you on the next one, ladies and gents. Ciao for so, after those very quick rolls, the skirmish along the walls still stands. The cannons did, really didn't do much damage at all with their low rolling. These, this guy lost a couple of men, but not so much. This guy lost four. Now, with the one and the two, rubbish and then these turns out to be twos rubbish because the way we calculated it is that you know cavalry is, is a shock unit they're they're great on the hit but when they're standing around and in melee you got to roll at least two-thirds of the highest to, to do much damage now this five and the three Although there isn't any shock uh, incurred on the parliamentarians, uh, Major Delbra here did lose 16 men. So imagine them charging into one another and knocking each other off the horses and then kind of whirling around in a bit of a skirmish and a, and a clang of... Uh, sabers and, and and everything else but they, they've they've lost the momentum so it kind of gives enough time for the infantry to move up but parliamentarian cavalry are starting to hit back and from a narrative point of view it makes sense that some of these guys didn't hit as hard as they can because they've 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 been engaged over here they're a little bit tired they're a little bit wary and they, they, they may be seeing this uh, parliamentarian infantry that might be a little bit uh, preoccupied with, with their peripheral vision seeing parliamentarian infantry coming down the road they'll get here next turn and they'll start to line up and, and offer some some support so that that cavalry charge maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be at, at the start and maybe I need to now think about what this royalist uh, cavalry will, will do now Barks did did, uh, did do a pretty pretty decent move actually leaving, leaving that uh, unit up there because it kind of blocks their escape I mean they might be able to squeeze through some of the houses but it'll be like a conga line up against that uh, that river there it'll be a, a good a good run back to the gates if, if that happens but well done well done the royalist uh, cavalry nonetheless for, for again making making Fairfax think twice but uh, that's all from me on this turn ladies and gentlemen let's give the guys some news and let's hope that this parliamentarian attack happens next turn. Uh, we've already got a question from one of the players saying, are we going to be playing until nightfall? And I had to be honest, I had to say, I wasn't banking on it. Um, I was just kind of waiting for Honeywood and Gordon to have a fair crack at it. Whilst Honeywood has had an engagement already and Saw, saw off the retreat. Gordon Gordon hasn't had a fight yet. His, his men are fresh. So that's what we're waiting for, people. That's what we're waiting for. So we'll see you on the next one. Ciao for now.